All right, guys, I want to do a quick video. I'm here. Um, just want to do an update on these um, Luffy XS. Um, to get to your user PIDs, you want to go to user PIDs right here. So my first, my first PID should be Turbo 1 because I want to make sure I have turbos and stuff at the top of the list because I want to be able to access them first. And um, from there, I can go on. So if you are familiar with this, you know that the PIDs are in the, the user PIDs for GM have like 16 PIDs and um, you can set them all through the GM um, standard um, PIDs, whatever. So um, once you get to the PIDs and you set them, so right here we got Turbo 1, which is my PID number one. So, so I actually got my boost PSI to work. If you can see here, you see that five that just went up there, that five right here? It's not going to show that when you first hook this up. And the reason why it's not going to show that, let me show you here on another screen. I want to do this real fast for those who have this machine and want to set it up. But I'll show you guys right here that the boost pressure is working. You see that one PSI? Zero two. So if I press on it a little bit more, you see it's going to go to five or whatever. You see that needle going up and down. So yeah, it's working. Just wanted to show that first. I'm on a real bumpy road here. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Ah oh, man, these potholes are insane. But I wanted to show you guys that I did get the PSI to work. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Probably works for every vehicle to do it this way. But this is how I found out to do it for me. So I'm gonna park here. I don't wanna scratch my car up on this thing here. So yeah, um, as you can see, the boost the boost pressure was working. So um, you got the boost PSI right here. So let's go to the PIDs. Remember, user data setup. I know some of you guys have this already. You asked me questions about it, and I I tried contacting Luffy. It, it depends on wherever you um, you might have to do the Australia, not the Malaysia or whatever. So. Um, I did try to contact them. I got no no reply back, so whatever. I mean, we all have to learn how to do things sometimes. So um, no 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 big deal for me. All right. So user PID number five here is Turbo Seven. So Turbo Seven is the PSI, and um, you want to. I'm going to request um, the data for it. So you see right there. You see a result. All right, let me put the camera up closer. You see result there? That's the boost reading that it's getting, All right? So what you wanna do with Turbo 7, if you can see right here, this synchronized data thing here. You see that right there? Um, you can synchronize these PIDs. So if you synchronize Turbo 7 with um, turbo intake manifold it's going to show boost pressure take it off let's take boost pressure we're going to go back to that same turbo reading you're going to see here 11 negative 11 right so let me just step on it it should be showing that right you have to go into the user data of turbo PID turbo 7 intake and synchronize with with turbo intake manifold. So now when you go out of here, what are you gonna have? 0 0.3, all right. There's also um, in my um, user data, I have user data six here, right? You see PID six, right here, go to let me go back here. So the time is getting ready to change. So it's going to be a little beep here. So it just turned uh, seven o'clock. So I got the timer to beep at every hour. So um, my user PID number six is door front left. Door front left. Now, when you when you select 
door front left, you have to, remember what I told you, the turbo? You have to synchronize it. Synchronize left front. Left front is the driver's side. I changed the name on it there, so you see driver. Go out of here, right? Remember, we're still talking about synchronizing. So I synchronize that one. So when I open my driver's side door, there's a little door thing that shows up there. Now it's closed. Now the PID number seven is passenger side. Passenger side opens and so on. So if I go to PID number eight, I'll do passenger side rear door and then I have to synchronize it with that um, rear door thing so yeah I just wanted to do this really quick to show you how to set up the turbo ones when I go through this a little bit more I'll show you guys everything else but I do have engine load here fuel pressure here um, ethanol E85 I changed that to ethanol you can change the names of these to whatever you want I still haven't got a chance to do everything on here but I'm still trying and I'm, I'm trying as much as I can I'm doing a lot of um, research I'm probably going to contact Luffy again maybe after this video hopefully if you guys like it and comment underneath it you'll get a little bit more um, um, traction um, I'm not sure but yeah so we got PSI we got oil temperature here um, you can do transmission temperature and transmission oil temperature but that that'll be in another video because i don't want to make a long video on this thing so right here we got boost um 0 0.3 as we're idling just want to do that real quick for you guys when you tune the torque is going to go up and down so this is pretty accurate when i put my um auto cowl in it'll show like six there so it's fluctuating up and down here so it's pretty accurate um, I still got to fine tune this thing, but yeah, I do got boost pressure to work there. If you're having trouble with the boost PSI, just um, um, go to the Turbo 7 and synchronize it with the um, um, Turbo Manifold. All right, guys, hopefully that helps somebody, man.